Welcome to the services video in our quarter go video series. In this video we'll discuss adding services to discrepancies and the different types of services we can add, such as a service for which a vendor needs to come to your facility to perform the service, or for services where we send parts out to a vendor to perform the service and then we receive the parts back and install on the aircraft. To begin, we'll start with the aircraft wash and discuss how to add a service for which the vendor has to come to your facility to perform that service. We'll go ahead and click on the task tile, navigate to the service demands column, and click the plus icon on the right hand side. If the service we're looking for is a canned service, or a service that has been added in Corridor already, we can go ahead and click in the service description box once, and Corridor will bring up all of the canned services that we have created so far. We can scroll through and find the service for which we're looking for. We can also free type in this field, and Corridor will go ahead and create a service for that description that you have created. Once finished, we can go ahead and click Save, and this will create our service demand. Service demands will have a red dot next to them indicating that it is a demand. We can go ahead and click the three dots on the service demand and create a procurement request. On the procurement request screen, we can go ahead and fill in the date for which we require this service to be completed on. In this case, we'll select April 30th. If this was an AOG request, we would flag the AOG flag. Once finished, we can click Create Request, and that will push the request over to our purchasing agent, as well as turn our red dot to a yellow dot, indicating that a request was created. Once the PO has been created and the service completed, the yellow dot will turn green, indicating that it has been done. To create a demand for a service that requires shipping a part out to the vendor, we can click on the appropriate discrepancy tile to open it, navigate to the Service Demands column, Click the plus icon on the right hand corner. And again, if the service is a canned service within corner, we can simply click in the service description and select it from the drop down menu. We can indicate that the service is for a part and use the master part search to search for the part number or part description to fill in. Once we found our part, we can go ahead and click on it, and Quarter will fill in the part number and part description. Once that's filled in, we can go ahead and click Save, and that will create our demand. We can now create a request by clicking the three dots on the right hand corner, and click Create Procurement Request. In the Procurement Request screen, we can indicate if this is an AOG request, provide our need by date, and add the serial number of the part that we're shipping out to the vendor if we know it at this time. Once all of the information has been completed, we can click on Create Request, and that will generate our request to the purchasing agent, who will then create a PO, deliver the part to the shipping module, ship the part out to the vendor, where the vendor will perform the service on the part. Once the vendor is finished, they will go ahead and send the part back to our facility. We will receive it in and deliver it back to the work order. Once the part has been delivered to the work order, the yellow dot will go into a green dot, indicating that the service has been complete. Thank you for watching the services video in our Corridor Go video series. In this video, we discussed two different types of services, services which require a vendor to come to your facility to perform a service, as well as services that requires your facility to ship out a part to a vendor, have the vendor perform a service, and then have the vendor ship that part back to your facility to reinstall on the aircraft. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.